got one. Shit. So, the Battlefield Hardline beta came out today, and uh, I don't know how long it's actually open for. I think it's open for like a whole week, but uh, of course, I downloaded it the first day it came out. <laughs> of course, like, because, you know, I, I play a lot of Battlefield, sort of-ish. You know, I like Battlefield, Bad Company 2, Battlefield 3, 4, kind of lost me, and Hardline, you know, it's not so bad. Um... So I guess what I'm really going to do is like sort of a review, you know, of thoughts, how I feel about Hardline so far. And, uh, you know, if I think it's good. So I uh, played it for, I think I played it, how many games did I play? I think I, I recorded all of them, so I could just count off the side here. I played seven games all in a row. So that's probably, that's, that's at least, um, you know, two or three hours of playing the game. So, I played it for a decent amount of time. Not like a long time, of course, but I, I really wanted to tell you guys, you know, how I feel about the game. And if you should buy it after it's out of the beta and such. So, before, you know, I go on, uh, if you want to try out the beta, just go ahead and go on Origin. Uh, look up Battlefield Hardline on Origin. And click try out the beta, or download the beta. <laughs> it's like, I think it's like 11 gigabytes. So, if you have 11 gigabytes and you want to try it out, go ahead. But, uh, first of all, as you guys will see me use mostly in this game, I use the MP5K. Uh, at, at the start of the gameplay, I think I actually used the, um, Assault Rifle. I don't know what it's called, actually. <laughs> it's a weird type of name. But, uh, I use the MP5K for a lot of the game, and I actually really like that weapon. It's not so bad. And, um, I know Battlefield's sort of the types, the type of games that people always make fun of for the way the weapons look. And in this battlefield, I actually, like, completely agree with people. The The weapons look so fake. They just look like something that you, uh, grabbed as a, like, little toy prop-ish. You know, like, they look like props. They don't look like real weapons. And, uh, I don't know how Battlefield, or I guess DICE, has gotten away with this every single game. But, uh, I know some people are probably going to be like, The weapons look like weapons. There's no difference between weapons. But... Uh, if you look at other games, you know, they look more detailed and such. Battlefield, they sort of just, like, do a little smoothish weapon, I guess. And, uh, it's just, it's really weird. I don't know how to explain it. But the MP5K, uh, I think default is suppressed and it has, like, a little red dot sight. It's actually really good. And, uh, I use it for a lot of close combat stuff. Of course, I wouldn't use a shotgun because I'm not a shotgun guy. I know a lot of people would get pissed off if I use it, too. Because shotgun noobs, you know. You, nobody likes them. But uh, anyways, uh, on to the sniper. Now, I'm a big guy when it comes to snipers inside of Battlefield. I love sniping in Battlefield. And I love sniping in any game, actually. Like, CSGO, I love sniping. You guys have seen videos on my YouTube. I use the SSG and the op a lot. Um, the sniper in this game was fairly good. It wasn't so bad. But there was some weirdness with it, I have to admit. <laughs> like, the scope... If you look at it, it's not a normal sniper scope. It's definitely not a normal sc sniper scope. It's got like a weird dot in the middle, and it's got like, you know, circles around it. Um, rather to, you know, just two lines, horizontal and vertical, making a scope. But uh, I've seen a couple of snipers in the past, like, with this scope. So I'm not, I'm not saying, you know, it's not a sniper scope. I'm just saying, you know, it's out of the ordinary from a regular sniper scope. Which I kind of like it, you know. It's, it's really easy to use. And, um, it's not so bad with aiming as other scopes, you know, that I've seen in Battlefield history. But the thing that I really hate about this sniper is the fact that it's kind of semi-automatic-ish. It, like, you, you can shoot once, and then I think you wait, I believe it's like, I, I would say like 0.2 of a second, and then you can shoot again. It's, it's really OP, like, you know, 200 milliseconds or so. <laughs> it's really OP, and you can literally just, like, if you see somebody, spray, like, shoot, 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 keep on clicking, and you'll literally kill them so easily. What was the sniper inside of Battlefield 3 that was like that? The MK11? That's sort of what it's like, but the MK11, I think you can shoot even more faster. Actually, no, I, I think this one you can shoot the same. But anyways, moving on, I think that's OP. The vehicle's still messed up. Uh, they... If you run into something, it kind of does like a little rubber band thing. 
that I really don't like. Battlefield, fix this, or dice. You're still on beta, and you guys still have not fixed these vehicle things. I'm not trying to get, you know, like, you know, fuck you, this game is bad. I'm not trying to say that. I'm just saying, you know, they need to fix this right away. Like, you don't want to have a game that's shitty. But, you know, I guess EA is known for coming up with games that are shitty every now and then. <laughs> but, uh, let's go ahead and move on to the heist. Now, uh, a lot of people were very hyped for this. The hypes, or er, the heist where, you know, cops versus robbers. Robbers have to get the package, get out of there. Cops have to defend the bank, kill the robbers. People were very excited for this. Um, I played it, I think I played, I played three heist games. Um, too bad, I, like, two of them I was cops and one of them I was actually robbers. Uh, but during both the games, I kind of felt the, like, it just, like, it doesn't tell you where to go enough. The, that the notifications aren't big enough and stuff. Because <laughs> if you guys are looking at the game footage, you'll see I'm just, like, running around in circles. I'm just running everywhere. I don't know what to do. Like, uh, I, I... I was looking on the map and I saw briefcases. <laughs> That's all I saw. And then I saw like drop areas and I, I would try to go towards the briefcases, but at the same time I would die. So um, it was kind of hard, you know, it was kind of hardish. And at the same time, it was kind of funnish, I guess, because, uh, you know, it was, it, was, it was fun. It was like Payday 2, but in Battlefield theory. <laughs> so um, it was kind of good. It was kind of like... The thing is, though, the map is so small. It's really small. Uh, it's not like a l regular battlefield map where you have, you know, one side that's like a whole entire Call of Duty map and then another side that's a whole entire, like, two Call of Duty maps put together that size. It's not like that. It's literally, like, just very small. <laughs> and it's really easy to run into enemies and it's really easy to, uh, you know, get killed. And so it's kind of like a fast paced type thing. And, you know, I kind of liked it, but I kind of really didn't like it at the same time because of the fact that I just, I had to, um, like, look around my ass every now and then. Uh, another thing I want to talk about with the heist is the teammate factor. Once, like, each, each side, uh, you are going to be depending on your squad to spawn on them because you don't want to spawn all the way back at the spawn. It's very far away. And you're going to get fucked because, like I said, very fast game mode. You have to get in there, get your stuff, or the briefcases, or whatever they're called, and capture them. But if your squad mates are all dead, you guys have to have one person spawn, and then, you know, all of them spawn on them. It's very squad-dependent, very team-dependent game mode. And I just, I didn't feel the team, you know, whenever I uh, was playing it. And this, the thing is... While I was playing it, my teammates, if they were all dead, they would wait for me to spawn. And then they would spawn on me. That was, it was very annoying. None of them would spawn and I spawn on them. It would always be, oh, we're all dead. Let's wait for, you know, Focus to spawn. And we'll all spawn on him. It was never, you know, oh, we'll spawn and let everybody spawn on us. But the thing is, though, uh, you get a lot of points. <laughs> If uh, your teammates are all dead and you're the first to spawn, because they're all going to spawn on you, you get a lot of points. So that was kind of cool, I guess. But <laughs> again, <laughs> no teamwork there. So um, I also learned this other tactic: if you, like all of your squad mates are dead and you're the you know only one in there, and you don't want to take the like uh, two or three minutes to run from the spawn all the way into the building, you could just switch squads and then spawn on a teammate. It's kind of like TT Doodle, you know, <laughs> but it, it takes less time to switch squads and spawn on a teammate than it does uh, to spawn and then run back in. I think actually, I personally think Dice should make it to where uh, you cannot switch squads after I think like two or three minutes <laughs> after you switch one. I think they should do that because uh, this is going to be really OP in the future. Uh, people are probably going to start doing that. <laughs> So it was it was kind of OP-ish, kind of not. I kind of learned at the end of the third game, so I just I, I just I didn't have much time to do it. So, but uh, that kind of wraps up my little review about this Battlefield Hardline beta. Uh, my thoughts on it: it's not that bad. Uh, I hope the game's better in the future. 
I'm like it just doesn't feel good right now. I personally would not buy it with sixty dollars, at in the current state that it is. But uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully, they add something cool into the game in the future. So uh, if you guys like this video, remember to like the video. If you dislike the video, remember to like the video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.